Welcome to All Home Care Matters, the show where we discuss all things home care with discussions on important age-related matters and topics. Brought to you by Enriched Life Home Care Services, the number one rated home care provider in Michigan by top rated local. Hello, and welcome back to All Home Care Matters. If this is your first time visiting us here at the show, we want to say thank you for taking time out to be with us today. We appreciate how valuable everyone's time is, and that's why we try and make each episode here at All Home Care Matters something that will hopefully matter to you. Today, we are excited to welcome a very special guest, Mr. John Ader of Verify Care. Welcome, John. Good to be here. Thank you so much for your time. So, you have created this amazing resource for families and for caregivers of all types called Verify Care. Why don't you share with us where that idea came from? Uh, as short as possible, uh, background was in uh, long-term care. Uh, first of all, as an administrator of a facility, and then I started a company that wanted to produce medical records and uh, increase the time that uh, staff would be able to be with the patient rather than doing paperwork and so forth. And that went on for many years. And uh, over the time, the culture in uh, long-term care is, has changed. The acuity has gone uh, uh, much in, increased. And um, what happens is that uh, People want to stay in their home much longer than uh, than they did in the past, and uh, families are getting more and more scattered throughout the country, and uh, so it makes more sense to bring that electronic medical record right to the individual as they uh, go through their senior years uh, with more help from that family no matter how far away they might be. And uh, and then we noticed that there's other forms of in-home care that's going on that not necessarily is it always seniors that need extra care in home. And uh, so it was just an evolution to, uh, with the changing times of, uh, of home care type of thing. So, that's how the idea came about, I guess. And uh, we're just getting started. Yeah, well, I know you. your company had eventually grew to over 500 nursing homes. And so obviously, you know, you were really onto something there. So what, what was the reason for getting into the home care industry after so many years in institutional care? Well, I think that... Uh, the feeling and the the emphasis has changed because of pricing, uh, because it got very expensive to go to the institutional care. And I think that uh, that families themselves and patients themselves would rather stay at home in a familiar setting. And uh, of course that got a little more difficult when the families get more and more scattered uh, as they go through life. And uh, so it makes sense to try to bring that all together. And with technology now, you're able to have an extended family that isn't necessarily next door, but they could be in a different state even and still know what's going on. And what's also happening is that uh, uh, there are uh, organizations that send people in to help and so forth, but those people are still strangers to the most part. And in that sense, the family can help that stranger become not a stranger by getting to know that person and their needs and so forth as closely as the family does. Right. So it, it kind of bridges the gap between caregiver, if it's hired, the whole family, not just the patient, 
and also brings that family together. Uh, one of the things that occurred was my own mother was in a nursing home. Uh, and every time someone visited her, they wrote into her journal. And of course, every person that then came in afterwards could read how the visit was the last time mm -hmm. and I'd be able to talk about that and so forth. But that might be a week or two weeks or three weeks between visits right. by a person. And so I thought, why not have a journal that's live with the visiting person, whether they're in their home or whether they're in a, uh, an institution, why can't they be a live type thing, not a FaceTime, but a journal that would be, it happened now. So if the person was not feeling so well that day, it might change the timing of the next visit by another sibling or something because they're feeling a bit down or whatever. In other words, instead of waiting two weeks to find out that two weeks ago, they were somewhat depressed. Well, you, could, you would know it the very day that the one person said in the journal that was read by another person, the person is feeling down. So a much more um, timely response to needs is uh, one of the big things. Well, and I, and I think you touched on a key point so often because, you know, our professional company provides home care and you're absolutely right from minute to minute, day to day, hour to hour, that person could go through several changes and it's important for the family and for the caregivers to be aware of those changes and to know what's going on throughout that day, you know, because if, like you said, if it's a two week gap between a visit a lot can happen in those two weeks that some might be more critical than others. And having that ability to stay on top of things in real time, I think is such a needed asset and resource for, for families and for the caregivers helping that loved one. What would you say are some of the other difficulties or challenges of providing care in the home? I think that one of the biggest differences is coordination of what's going on mm -hmm. because it takes more than just one single person because if you have just one person that is providing all the care that is a tremendous load on that person and they need help because the uh, the uh, amount of turnover with that kind of environment where they got the whole load themselves is pretty high. Right. So by having more people involved, you share that load, that burden, and that doesn't then upset one's life and their families as much because it's all being shared between many different people. Even if it's a hired caregiver, uh, they need some breaks too. And so the family can step in and provide that balance in all the lives that are involved so that they still have a family life of their own. They're still taking care of uh, their loved one that's um, uh, needing more help uh, in their, uh, for whatever reason, I guess. Uh, it gives them a break and to be able to have their own personal life too. So I think that's one of the biggest things is just the coordination between caring individuals. Absolutely. And now I'm going to share something and we'll go into my thoughts on Verify Care in a little bit. And, you know, I have taken several days and have played with the app, have explored the app, registered with the app, and I'll give some thoughts I had on it. But could you give our viewers and listeners um, your overview of Verify Care? Well, there's a number of apps that are available out there, and some of them are at no charge whatsoever, and but they're oftentimes focused on a single 
aspect of home care. Yes. For example, they might focus on medications. And maybe it's sponsored by a pharmacy or pharmaceutical company or something. But it is, they're sponsored for their own sake, too. And which is, which is good. I'm not saying it's, it's bad, but it just is not comprehensive enough. Because many of the trials that a person is is uh, having to deal with with home care as the patient, so to speak, is to have something that is individualized to their particular personality, to their interests, and so forth. So, I mean, many of the apps that are there are very singular focused. The Verify Care app is focused on just about anything. Of course, it's got the medications and that sort of thing. And it's got the alerts if you, uh, if you uh, are failing to meet the goals of those things. But in addition to that, it can track just about anything, uh, any type of activity that the particular enjoy, or activities that would be to their benefit, such as exercise, or something that has a has a, a physical effect on their well being, and uh, also things that just might be fun to do, that they because they enjoy that particular part of their life, and so with the flexibility that's built into uh, the Verify Care app. Um, you can make it be whatever you want it to be, so to speak. Whatever is important to the individual and important to the family. Uh, there's one thing about the background of the uh, Verify Care. After years and years of development on the electronic medical record world, we thought all along that it had to be flexible. And if you can imagine the flexibility of, a, for example, a, a spreadsheet, very flexible to whatever you want to do with it. Right. Well, that's the way we made our electronic medical record, to be that flexible to whatever you want. And the reason for that is because Every person is an individual. Even if you're living in an institution, they're still different one from the other. Not to say how much different one facility might be from another. There's still individual differences within each different facility. So we brought that flexibility from the electronic medical record into Verify Care so that it can then respond to the individual needs of that particular person. So are the tasks then with Verify Care, do they have the ability to customize the task to each individual? Yes. Wonderful. They can customize the task. Um, I mean, the task might be to walk the dog or the task might be to exercise on a particular exercising device. It doesn't make any difference what it is. The task can be worded as you want it worded and timed and so forth. So there, there's no limit. So it has like a, I would call it like a sandbox effect where you can create it however you need it for that specific task or that specific individual's needs. That's correct. That's wonderful. Now we, go ahead. Well, I was gonna say there's some standard things in there like, uh, oh, I don't know, blood pressure, for example. That would be normal to take and so forth. But I mean, you can go far beyond that uh, by making, using the flexible uh, type of, uh, of task. Well, and I know, and I know that's so important because as you mentioned, specifically even with with the home care side of this 
when you're in a facility, oftentimes your meals are at the same time. You have one or two choices for those meals at that specific designated time. But with the home care side, people may like their eggs a certain way. They may like to eat their lunch at a certain time, or they may like to watch a particular TV show or have specific exercises that may not have necessarily been prescribed by a physical or an occupational therapist, but their doctor recommended that they do them or they've just decided to voluntarily do them. You have that flexibility to be able to add that into the task sheet. It's not just a standard one size fits all, you know, aspect to the task, which individuals, we all have different likes and different needs. And I think that that aspect is very important for them to be able to continue to get the care that they need. And they'll be happy along the way. And they'll be happy along the way. Absolutely. Which is a crucial part of the care process is their, is their mood and spirit. Now, we encounter a lot of long distance caregivers, meaning, you know, nowadays families are scattered, they're living in different states, or they have different responsibilities. And it's hard for them to stay on top of their loved one's needs and maybe be there day to day to help guide caregivers or, you know, perform certain tasks and things. Does Verify Care give somebody that may live long distance or even out of state a, a way to still remain a part of the care process? Well, of course, they can't be there physically as often as they otherwise would, mm -hmm. but they can be involved in it because there might be some that are close. There might be some that are farther away within that family. And if the close ones are keeping track of, of the, and the spirits and so forth, or they, uh, or the, the, uh, troubles that the person might be going through, the other people that are farther away can then start to intervene through other means to keep them connected because they know what's going on. And with Verify Care, uh, the caregiving team can be located anywhere. They can be located across seas. Right. Even uh, and so forth. So, I mean... Because it's all, well, they say in the cloud, and it's all secured, the person in another state gets real-time information from those that are close. So they can stay in the, the, in the loop, so to speak. Because uh, sometimes out of sight, out of mind. Yeah, and we encounter that so often where you know, a loved one may live locally, but their next of kin is not always a, one of their children because we've encountered where it's a nephew who is, you know, making all of the healthcare decisions for an uncle or an aunt. And it's a different time zone. And they're the ones getting all the phone calls and orders from the physician. And then they have to coordinate based on time zones and everything else to pass that along to the caregivers. And you know, sometimes things get lost in translation. So you've made it possible for that long distance relative or, you know, caregiver to share that information in real time, regardless of time zone. And it's at their convenience too. So everybody's on the same page. And I think that's a wonderful aspect of Verify Care where things are in real time and it doesn't matter where you live at or what time zone you're in. And everybody is, like you said, kept in the loop. Right, exactly. Why do you think it's important to encourage multiple people to be a part of the Verify Care team? Well, I'm thinking of the the case where, um, you know, a lot of these people have large families, and some get scattered to a different state. Not all of them do, uh, but there's some that do, and that person spent a good share of their life with people around them and close to them. Sure. And so at some time they, they go farther away and, but they're still connected. And especially in seniors where, where they have probably uh, a better grasp on long-term memory than they do on short-term memory. And therefore, uh, they go back in time 
to when they had people close by them. And all at once, or not all at once, but over time, they become more scattered, but you can stay connected to them because sometimes that's where the, uh, especially seniors, that's where their mind is. The, the mind was thinking, or their long-term memory is working better than their short-term memory. Right. And therefore, it's very meaningful that, to them that those people farther away stay connected. And it makes everybody happier, including the one that lives farther away, because they know they're still connected. Yeah, absolutely. Happier. Yeah, they, they feel like they're contributing. You know, we see that often where, you know, and sometimes it unfortunately can cause a little uh, almost conflict within the siblings or the family where, you know, one sister or brother lives far away and they can't be there day to day or even weekly. And there's some resentment. It's not necessarily a spoken resentment, but you, you can see through body language and, you know, conversation. And then it's not really by that person's choice either that they're out of state. They may have gotten a job or a career that took them out west or wherever they end up living at. And they don't feel like they're contributing either. So now they have some guilt. But with Verify Care, you're allowing all family members or all participating caregivers for that loved one to be an active participant in the care of that person, which I think is remarkable. Yeah, what do they say? Uh, forgiveness is for the benefit of the forgiver. Yes. And happiness, to give happiness, is the way to be happy. Yeah. And but with verified care, you can give that happiness to that other person and therefore enrich your own life. <laughs> right. Absolutely. So transparency is an important component also of the care process and the care team. How does Verify Care create transparency between the care recipient's family and hired caregivers? Well, I'm thinking that uh, in the case of hired caregivers, they want to do a good job for the person, I believe. And the family can help them do a better job and therefore get more satisfaction out of doing their job. Because if the more people that are involved in that care, the better that care is going to be, and including for the good of the caregiver. Right. Uh, even if it's a hired caregiver, that uh, the family is involved along with it. Uh, there'll just be much more satisfaction all the way around. And uh, so I, I'm thinking that, uh, uh, of course, you've got the family themselves, but you also, in, in many cases, have a hired caregiver. And one of the fastest growing businesses these days is private duty. and. Uh, and even in those cases of private duty, to have more involved is a good thing for everybody. Right. So with the app, um, how does the communication get handled? And is it easy to communicate with the caregivers through the app? Well, what happens in the, in the app is that you have a care team. The central person is the person who, who creates the account type thing. And then you can have a hired caregiver as a, as a care team member. You can have any number of families uh, also as part of that care team. You can text one care team member to another care team member. You can share the journals written by whoever is a care team member. You can have the care recipient even doing some recording themselves, depending on their abilities and so forth. But in some cases, 
they can do it quite easily, especially if the device is a little bit larger, like maybe an iPad as opposed to a small phone type of thing. So they can see uh, what to do with you. If you want them to record things themselves, uh, that's okay. But the care team can still watch what that person is doing. So everything can be shared, and uh, but even uh, private notes and so forth. Uh, one of the big things, of course, is is uh, uh, the uh, ability not to be as mobile as you get older, or maybe because of the condition you're in, you you don't have a car, you don't have. Uh, a means of, of getting to where you have to be or want to be. So the coordination of, of uh, appointments or activities through that communication can be something that's shared so you, the person isn't homebound and doesn't get out to, uh, to see other people and, and go to different events. And uh, so there's a complete a uh, scheduling uh, calendar involved with the um, with the with the app um, to use an example of of uh, flexibility I guess so that the grandchildren all go to baseball games you can put every every baseball game in that app and uh, the, the whole extended family can know when the ball game is going to be played and where it's going to be played. And I mean, it doesn't have to be a person in health needs to make the system work. Right. And, and uh, I know I showed it to my, uh, my granddaughter who just loves horses. So she's got a care recipient named Molly. <laughs> It's a horse. Yeah, Molly the horse. Right. So, and they can put their own flexible horse needs in if, if they want. I, sure. Well, and that's, I was going to touch on that, you know, um, just for our viewers and listeners, Verify Care isn't specifically just for an elder care recipient. It could be for a child. It could be for a pet. It could be for Molly the horse. It's really to help coordinate care for anyone or anything for any reason. That's correct. Yeah. And I think that's remarkable. And just to follow up on the scheduling for anybody who hasn't maybe been in a position yet where they're working with a team of, you know, care members, whether it's family or hired professionals, when you have a loved one that may have 10, 12 doctor's appointments or healthcare appointments a month, coordinating that amongst several other people for the transportation, for the time, the location, this really simplifies that process tremendously because the person has to put it into the app just one time and anybody that's a part of that care team has all that information instead of having to call people or text people or even emailing people. It's right there in real time. As soon as you enter it into the app and I don't want to I want to do justice to how remarkable that resource is for a care team. That is a tremendous aspect. And one of the more difficult coordination aspects of a care team is when you have multiple doctor's appointments or healthcare appointments or even hair appointments, you know, to go to the salon or physical therapy or even, you know, a child's or a grandchild's graduation or a play at school. And you have to coordinate that amongst several other people that that's a lot of work and it's very tedious also. And just to have that simplicity of being able to enter it into verify care is, a, a, is just a, a valuable asset. Well, I think uh, I'm not real sure because I haven't used it in this regard, but I just, you just give me an idea, but uh, for example, you may have a, uh, um, a doctor's appointment that you have to get to, and you've got six people on the on the care team. You can at that point when you make that appointment, that appointment is made by somebody. You can then send a message: volunteer is needed. Yeah, 
So you got five people that could be responding to this need because the one person, they're tied up that day or whatever. But you you could you can then send the message out. We need somebody to, to step up and help with the uh, transportation in this one case. Right. Now, like you said, you could have you could have many different appointments. And sometimes what happens, I believe, if I know human nature, <laughs> is that they'll call in the same person oftentimes because they got more yes answers. And so by sending it out to all the team members, they all have a chance to say, sign me up for it. And then everybody knows that that appointment's been taken care of because they're all communicating through the same, through the same app. Right. And it's all private. It's not on the, it isn't it's through text messaging. It's through the app, which is all private information. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that that's such an important aspect of verify care and the care process is those appointments and transportation. We, we hear that from families all the time, that that's one of the biggest issues that they have. Now, does verify care, um, does the app analyze data? I'm assuming. It analyzes uh, just about everything, tasks and meds and so forth. And it does uh, uh, track progress uh, towards goals. And uh, you can set what we call outliers. For example, if you're watching the weight, you can make it so that uh, that if this thing was up past a certain point, then send an alert that it's up past the acceptable point. Uh, it's, soon we're going to be coming out with an enhancement to it that it, if it, it's, it's a gradual thing. For example, if, if you're tracking weight, if you're five pounds up, you'll get a, a green light just as a cautionary thing. If it goes to yellow, it's still going up. Mm-hmm. If it turns to red, it went past the outlier. Of, of, it should not ever go above that red. And uh, that'll be coming out probably in about a month. But right now it, it sends out an alert because there was an entry made that is outside the parameters that you would expect this thing to stay. It all depends on how important it is, of course. Uh, among some people, uh, weight is very critical if it starts getting weight. And if it just keeps going up, there's something going on. And, uh, but uh, you can track uh, pulse, blood pressure, um, activities. Did they do the activity? Did they not do the activity? And uh, you get a actual graph of where things are at. So how would you, how would you differentiate the way Verify Care differs from other apps? I know we touched on it earlier with the pharmaceutical example, but what other differences would you say that Verify Care has from other apps? I think I should just emphasize the flexibility yeah. because of the difference between people. Right. And uh, because I'm sure there's, apps that track physical activity. Uh, In fact, there's phones that can track physical activity. There's things that, uh, there's apps out there that can uh, help you do different things. Uh, But to have it all in one is a way to have it coordinated. I I guess in in the sense that it's comprehensive and it's coordinated between a whole team. I think that's the thing. And and again, I just want to reiterate, I think having the ability to have it fully customizable to that person and that team is just, it's an invaluable asset for a care, a care approach, you know, having the function to add whatever task you want 
to include any members and add any members that you want, um, I think is really invaluable. And I, and I love that you have the parameters set up for outliers where, you know, if you're doing a pulse or a weight or a blood pressure or any number of things, which verify care allows you to do and for the system to then give you alerts so that you're staying on top of, you know, okay, the weight's gone up or the weight's gone down or whatever the example you'd want to use, because it's hard when you're, when you're part of a care team and you already have an immeasurable amount of things to already keep track of, you know, some people may forget what the weight was supposed to stay within, but the app's going to help remember, you know, remind you of that, which I think is another key asset of Verify Care. That's true. Uh, <clears throat> it came up. I, maybe you can see it. Yeah, we can see that. Mm -hmm. and, and right now it's, it's graphing mood. The mood you're in. And it also shows on here that, uh, I don't know, about six times it was outside the parameters. Okay. But overall, I, it's not too bad. Just curious, John, how does it, how does it, how do you track the mood? Is that a human input on the mood? You say good morning, bad morning, okay morning, or? Well, let me uh, bring up the, the input for the mood once. Okay, sure. But uh, I was thinking, uh, for example, in that, in that uh, uh, I, uh, sample I gave before, you can have as many care recipients that you want. So you could have a care recipient that is your parents, your grandparents. You can also have a care recipient that is your pet with the same app. Now, of course, the pet would not have the care, same care team that the grandparent would have because the care team is centered on the particular care recipient. And you can have many different care teams for many different care recipients. Sure. And it, it, there's no extra cost for that. It's, it's, it's the same fee. You could, have, you could have a dozen care recipients if you wanted to. But here's how the, the I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, move it over to your right. There you go. Okay. But it has, it has five different symbols there, kind of okay. like pain um, okay. symbols. And they got different faces showing expressions on that. But you could also make your own uh, task of mood and have different, um, I don't know, answers to the possibility for a scab you could have. You could have words that uh, describe the mood, mm -hmm. angry, um, depressed. It doesn't have to be just these symbol pictures type of thing. Okay. I, I, again, remarkable the functionality of which Verify Care offers care teams and care recipients is, is just fascinating. How does, how does the calendar, well, and we kind of discussed this, but the calendar helps with the schedules of the care recipient, but it's almost as much of a help to the care providers because, again, like we've touched on, you know, getting that person to the appointment, the person that's always saying yes to taking them, they eventually, they need a break. And so it gives the ability to have other people volunteer for that particular appointment on that day. And that goes out to all of the care team. So you're hoping that out of your care team, somebody's able to, you know, take you to that appointment on that day. Correct. And there could be many appointments and keeping track of all those appointments can be a task. It's, it's absolutely a task. Absolutely. Yes. So, I mean, uh, it helps the caregiver to stay on top of things in a sense that uh, uh, keeping track of it all, you got your own, your own appointments and mixed in there too. Right. Well, and you know, the, the other component to that is we see this often with the families that we're helping, 
appointments get canceled and they get changed and it's not always by the care recipient or the care team. Sometimes the providers, the healthcare appointment itself, they have to call and change the schedule or cancel it or change the time. And they're making a phone call to one person. Now that one person has to pass that along to everyone else involved in the care. And Verify Care gives you the ease to which you input it once on the app and now everybody a part of that care team is getting notified instead of sending out, you know, five or six different emails or text messages or phone calls. That's correct. If it gets changed, everybody gets informed that it's changed. And maybe now the person who said yes can't do it. Yesterday, can't do it now because it got changed. But yeah. now this other person can. Right. And you can take care of that within a few seconds. Right. Yes, just fascinating. So you have also a couple other apps that you've developed. Why don't you share those with us? Well, we did uh, start getting involved with uh, with these um, app things about, I don't know, four or five years ago. We had a little office party where I wanted to do some electronic because it's a software company. And so I put their pictures on a cards to match uh, and see once who they are. And of course I disfigured all their, all their pictures did to figure out who it is. And um, so that became an app called picture this, where you can take your own photos your device photos that you've got on there and you put them on the back of cards. And then you got to do the simple match game of matching the cards. And then along with it, along with it, you uh, can identify a particular caption to go with it. Now it's your own pictures. So you can make it be a learning tool for people with disabilities Mm -hmm. and that sort of thing. And it just be uh, a memory game. So you just match cards. But on the back of those cards, you've got you've got some pictures. Now you match the card and you give it a name. Now you're teaching spelling, reading, uh, or just memorizing the location of the cards. And of course, you could have as many cards as you want to make it difficult. More cards, the tougher it is. Is that available on Kindle? I don't believe it's on Kindle, no. Okay. As you're showing me, I'm thinking I'm thinking of my own children would, would love that game. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We, we went to uh, a uh, autistic convention about, uh, I don't know, two or three weeks ago, and the kids with autism simply loved it because they had a sense of accomplishment when they when they found the match and they found the caption to go with it. That's kind of an option, but uh, they just loved it. And, uh, and they were happy. <laughs> yeah. Jumping up and down, literally. And that led to another app, which is similar. And this one here is Deal of Fortune, where you match the pictures and then it gives you a chance to solve the puzzle. Just like the wheel of wheel. Yeah. (laughs) Wheel of Fortune. And spin the wheel, get a chance to guess the puzzle, and you get points for it and everything else. And that one is kind of fun because it's challenging. Yeah. No matter what age you are. Sure. Sure. And uh, it's only got about 65,000 different puzzles in it. And, um, and this is available on the stores app and Google. And, uh, but it, it's, it's, it's interesting. You can also do the caption thing and that sort of thing and make it a little more difficult. And you got surprise cards in there. Well, I guess correctly. <laughs> so, but I'm thinking in terms of the uh, the the patients 
again, you're giving them something to do that has involved with it, uh, not only exercising the mind, but also the feeling of accomplishment. Yes, and I think that's so important. And so therefore you're helping them health-wise as well. So it, it plays along with that. But uh, this one is fun. Um, and also it's a good uh, memory exercising at the same time. Got to watch out for the that one card in there. If you watch Wheel of Fortune, there's a bankrupt out there. <laughs> okay. And it'll, it'll get you. Hopefully very early in the game. So you don't have to watch out for it anymore. Right. But that's uh, uh, very popular too. I mean, even with, because um, you can make your own puzzles. You don't have to use one of the 65,000. If you've got a child with some learning disabilities, you can still make the puzzle more easily completed. Like I say, depending on the age level, picture this is, is easier because um, you only have a limited, or not a limited, but you got, you can pick the number of cards. With Deal of Fortune, you're going to get 56 cards no matter what. Okay. Well, I should say 55 because one's got to be a letter. Right. Yeah. Well, we're going to have links to all of the apps and to verify care in our show notes and on our website. I just want to kind of give you my opinion on verified care because, as I mentioned at the beginning of the interview, I had um, played around with it for a few days. And being in the home care industry like we are, um, I just I was truly, truly impressed with how you really, I think, captured the essence of how you can simplify and ease the process of care and having a care team and a care recipient you can register and first it asks you if you're the care recipient or the care provider. And then if I put in care provider and then it asks who the care recipient is going to be. And then you can go through and customize every single aspect of the app for yourself, the care members, the care providers and recipients. And you can put in reminders and alerts and everything from the time the medications are to be given to what type of medication, what type of medications they're being given, all the way down to their daily activities, to their meals. And I really encourage people sincerely to download the app, play around with it, and I think quite immediately you will see what a benefit it would be, not only to yourself as a care provider or part of a care team, but also to the care recipient. You know, as a care provider, families already have a tremendous amount to remember, to coordinate, to schedule, and you're really simplifying this. And I think another key aspect of this, you're taking out the possibility of errors because everything's being entered one time and then everybody is getting a copy of that of those entries as well as the schedule. And I think it just helps to take some of the burden and load off of the care team but it also makes sure that that care recipient is getting the care that they're supposed to be receiving. You know, I just uh, thought of something else too, as you were talking about the meds. Um, and I don't think uh, other programs have this, but you can literally look at the side effects of medications in, not in uh, pharmaceutical terms. Sure. It gives you the, the side effects. And that's a pretty major part of being a good caregiver is know what those side effects are. Absolutely. And uh, so uh, I forgot to mention that, but I will tell you that in setting it up and making it um, be what you want it to be, it probably takes a little bit longer than some other programs because it's so flexible and so comprehensive right it's going to be uh not so, it's not a plug and play and it's just there it is what you see is what you get right because you got to put a little time into it and but the company's always here to help you if you if you run into a problem or whatever in what to do 
uh, you've only got so much real estate you can put a, an app on. And when you got something so powerful as this on a small uh, area, you got to use symbols and different things like that to economize on the on the real estate. So if you if you need help, we're here to help you too. Like I said, we'll we're gonna have all the links to to verify care and we will put all the contact information for the company in the show notes as well. But I want to just touch on something so that if somebody's listening or watching this, it doesn't intimidate them either. It may take more time to get it set up and get it designed and customized to what your needs are. But that comprehension, that comprehensive approach will save you in the long run. You know, you might spend a little more time. Yeah. You might spend a little more time up front, but in the long run, that's going to save you time. Oh yeah. Right. Exactly. Um, because something that is too simple probably isn't worth too much. And I was going to say in something simple and plug and play, like you mentioned, it's not going to have the desired positive effect or benefit that verify care will have. That's right. That's yeah. right. I, I kind of equate it to, you know, you can go and buy a, an entertainment center right out of the box and there it is, or you can get one that's going to serve a long purpose need. You know, it might take you more time to get it set up or built, but you know, quality, quality isn't quick. That's right. Yeah. Well, John, I just, I appreciate getting to know you and getting to experience Verify Care. We're also going to be starting a video that you have provided us with uh, right here at the end of the interview. And I encourage all of our listeners and viewers who are part of a care team, or maybe they're a care recipient to go and check out Verify Care. And I think they would be thoroughly impressed and it, I think benefited from using the app. Well, thank you for having us on. We're looking forward to uh, helping people live better. Yes, and and I think you're doing that. And I just commend you for you know designing something so effective as Verify Care. You know, you've had several apps and you've created a lot of amazing things. But in my opinion, I think Verify Care is probably your number one. Well, thank you. Oh, thank you, John. It was great to meet you. Are your aging parents or grandparents living alone with a family member or in a long-term care facility? Whether you are directly caring for a loved one or would like to monitor care provided by others, the Verify Care app is the assurance you deserve. Enjoy peace of mind knowing the entire care team and extended family is informed and engaged with providing needed care. Create individualized tasks and activities and record real-time data such as vital signs, weight, and food intake. Administer medications, monitor their side effects, and get alerts for irregularities. Communicate schedules and appointments through Verified Care's calendar and internal messaging. Analyze data with detailed graphs and even calculate wages for hired caregivers. Verified Care is comprehensive and customizable to the individual needs of your loved one. Try for free today and download Verify Care at Google Play and the App Store. For more information, visit verifycare.com. Thank you for joining us today here at All Home Care Matters. All Home Care Matters is here to help families as they navigate these long-term care issues. We invite you to visit us at allhomecarematters.com, where there's a private, secure, fillable form where you can give us feedback, show ideas, or if you have questions, every form is read and responded to. And remember, you can listen to the show on any of your favorite podcast streaming platforms or watch the show on our official YouTube channel. Just make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you never miss an episode. We'd also like to extend our gratitude and appreciation to Mr. John Ader of Verify Care. Thank you so much for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you next time here at All Home Care Matters. Thank you for joining us today. We look forward to you joining us again on another episode of All Home Care Matters. To learn more about the show and to connect with us, visit us at allhomecarematters.com.